erheblich. Results and videos are uploaded to the Vector website, where they are immediately available to the public. Meanwhile, the next routes are already being planned in the office of the Hungarian Cyclists' Federation. Trips along main traffic arteries, but also in quieter residential areas, to provide the team with reference values. Alapvetően Budapesten nagyon jól lehetne biciklizni, ha nem lenne ennyi autó. A fontos lépés, amit a városnak meg kell tenni, hogy nagyon-nagyon sürgősen és nagyon radikálisan csökkentse az egyéni gépjárművel közlekedők számát. Ez a legfontosabb. Ebben várjuk, hogy lépjenek és reméljük is. Developing public transport systems is one way to reduce particulate matter pollution in urban areas. However, a sensitive planning of bike facilities is also necessary. But the reality often looks quite different. Bicycle routes are often built right next to busy streets where cyclists are directly exposed to emissions. The mobile measuring system demonstrates in which situations road users inhale particularly large amounts of fine particles. Und wir haben jetzt feststellen können, dass das was wir auch schon bei einer anderen Situation vermutet haben, wenn wir den Rucksack sozusagen noch tiefer nehmen, also den Messsensor, dann werden die Belastungen deutlich höher. More exposure to particulate matter at a lower level, this can mean a higher risk for children. The invisible particles can also be found in places where pedestrians would not expect them, for example here in this underground shopping arcade. Aber wir nehmen mal an, dass sich hier in dieser Unterführung äh, die Partikel einfach sammeln im Laufe der Zeit und dadurch haben wir eben halt sehr hohe Werte feststellen können. Man muss berücksichtigen, hier arbeiten natürlich auch Menschen und die sind diesen Belastungen äh, tagtäglich ausgesetzt. Generally, average particle concentrations were considerably higher in Budapest and Vilnius than in Utrecht and Hamburg. These results could be used by initiatives concerned with environmental and traffic-related issues to exert pressure on politicians. We meet the organizers of the critical mass bicycle rally, who know how important it is to make the road users aware of the problem. Having a car is uh, something like a symbol, symbol of wealth. So you have to have one, you have to drive it, and that's why the pollution is very high. How can cyclists be effectively protected from exposure to particulate matter? This question is also of interest to an international group of traffic experts who came to Budapest to attend a conference. They discuss the first results with the Vector team and they also talk about the unusual mobile measuring technology, which allows for a reliable determination of particulate matter pollution in any urban area, regardless of the traffic situation, as long as the weather is dry. A press conference in the town hall of Vilnius. Politicians, officials and journalists are stunned at the particulate matter values registered in the Lithuanian capital and at the bicycle that detected them. They know that they are afraid of what is going on in Iran. They are a journalist, they are a lot of experts, who are getting a lot of information. They are a problem that we are all for the students and scientists at the Kooperationsstelle in Hamburg, Vilnius is the last stop after Utrecht, Hamburg and Budapest. All in all, the research team has covered some 400 kilometers by bike and generated more than 20 hours of filming material. Now it is time to return to Germany for a final evaluation. The results demonstrate which road users generate the biggest share of particulate matter. Diesel cars produce much more particles than other cars. While soot filters or natural gas engines, for example in city buses, can considerably reduce the particulate output. Construction sites also account for a large amount of particulate emission. To make matters worse, existing particles are swirled up time and again due to road traffic. But each city can protect cyclists from particulate matter, for example by building segregated bicycle lanes, like here in Amsterdam, but also by introducing speed limits or intelligent traffic light intervals for the motorized traffic. 
In addition, it helps to create cycling routes following quite less frequented side streets. These and other results of the Vector project are gathered here in this building at Amsterdam University by the staff in charge of knowledge transfer at the eFarm agency. eFarm carries out studies and provides advice on sustainable urban development. It initiated the Vector project and is now preparing to present the impressive results to the general public. Pictures are much more convincing than texts and we have been telling people that, that particles are bad to their health for years but I think it really makes a difference when they see it themselves. For the first time the video filmed from the perspective of the cyclist is presented to a group of scientists and university lecturers from all over Europe. Factors like the passing moped which causes the particulate matter output to soar but also the documented high pollution level in the tunnel will no doubt leave a strong impression on viewers. I think it's extremely important to visualize a, a problem of this kind in, in, in such a way. So I, pre I appreciate it very much. That's actually something uh, some, somehow uh, enlightening to know that, you know, actually if you are sitting in the car it doesn't really help. But can the vector images also motivate politicians to take action? The prospects are good as Fietz Balance, the predecessor project, shows. It was an eye-opener for heel veel politici and maatschappelijke organisaties dat uh, het autoverkeer en met name de brommen zoveel fijn stof uitstoten dat het echt gevaarlijk is voor fietsers, maar ook voor automobilisten. Uh, de boodschap van de Fietsbond Nederland was van leg uh, gescheiden fietspa en uh, zorgen ervoor dat de uitstoot van brommen wordt teruggebracht. Hopefully Vector will help to prepare the ground for similar measures all over Europe. In any case, the European Commission co-financed the international project and it is striving more than ever to support sustainable mobility in urban areas. The European Cyclists Federation ECF supports this development and it considers the results of the Vector project as a good basis for more specific demands. Air pollution in the cities is one of the main issues for the livability for the people uh, in the cities and there is only one solution to cut uh, the use of uh, individual motorized vehicles and on infrastructure the European Commission can develop subsidy uh, programs to help cities and regions to invest in the right direction and maybe aspects from the Vector project should be a part of this program. It seems we still have a long way to go before a significant reduction in particulate matter emission from motorized traffic can be achieved. However, the Vector team will continue to collect data with the aim of finding out how the particle output can be reduced and how cyclists can be better protected in specific situations. So, watch out for them on the roads of your hometown.